Hi, it's Dr. Kalegi. For this week's Tiny Tips video, let's talk about RSV, a common virus that causes respiratory illness in babies and young children. RSV spreads easily from person to person, often through contact with infected saliva, mucus, or nasal drainage. It tends to show up in the late fall through early spring months, typically October through March, though timing can vary depending on where you live. RSV is actually the most common reason babies under one year of age are hospitalized. In fact, about two to three out of every 100 infants with RSV in the U.S. will need a hospital stay. Most RSV infections start out like a simple cold, with a runny nose, cough, and sometimes a mild fever. But RSV can also lead to bronchiolitis or pneumonia, which affects the lungs. Symptoms are usually worst around days three to five of illness and can last about one to two weeks. Signs of more serious RSV infection include fast breathing, flaring of the nostrils, grunting, belly breathing, or wheezing. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's important to have your baby evaluated right away. For mild RSV, treatment is supportive care. That means helping your baby stay comfortable with nasal saline and gentle suctioning, a coolness humidifier, and frequent feedings to prevent dehydration. And now the good news. We finally have a way to help prevent severe RSV illness in our infants. If you're pregnant, you may be eligible for the maternal RSV vaccine between 32 and 36 weeks, especially if your baby will be born during the RSV season. Babies under eight months of age whose mothers did not receive the vaccine at least two weeks prior to delivery can get a single RSV immunization to protect them throughout their first RSV season. Some higher risk toddlers entering their second RSV season may qualify for a second RSV dose. This immunization works a little differently from traditional vaccines. It provides protective antibodies that start working right away and last for the full RSV season. These new tools are an exciting step forward in keeping our little ones healthy and breathing easier through the winter months. I hope you enjoyed this tiny tip. Have a great day.